Hi, in this video I'm going to try and show you how to set up the latest version of Node Red on a BeagleBone Black. Um, the reason I'm using a BeagleBone Black is I couldn't get hold of uh, Raspberry Pi. Here's a BeagleBone Black, it's got some built in uh, EEMC memory, so basically we need to build an image on an SD card and then copy that SD card uh, to the BeagleBone Black. So the first thing we'll do is we will get this uh, on the network. Uh, fired up. This is original, straight out of the box. Um, it'll have a very old uh, version of Node Red pre installed. So we'll fire it up. So we apply a network cable, we apply 5 volts, it should have DHCP. Uh, so we'll do a quick network scan uh, with a IP scanner. Uh, and we see that the Beagle Bone pops up there. I've hidden everything else on my network. Uh, 192.168.1.19. If we then go uh, straight to our browser uh, using Chrome, launch that, we should be able to go to uh, 192.168.1.19. Now this is the uh, built-in development environment in the BeagleBone. I've never used this, uh, don't really know what it's about, I'm not really interested, I just want to run Node Red. Um, so we'll have a quick look and see if Node Red is running, which it should be. So that's on 192.168.1.19, 1880. And if we hit that, yeah, the Node Red uh, IDE pops up. If we go and have a look what version it's running, as I said, very old, 1.04. I tried updating this, I tried using the images off the um, BeagleBone website to no avail. If we have a look at the Node Red website, you'll see we're currently on version 3.02. So that's what we need to try and get running on our BeagleBone. Okay, so if we scroll down on the Node Red website, they've kindly put a getting started area and there's a link to BeagleBone Black. So you would think that will do me. Uh, and it tells you here the instructions for installing Node Red on a BeagleBone Black. Except that this is all nonsense. If you actually follow the link to the BeagleBone uh, website, uh, where you're supposed to get a, a Debian image, it's a very old image. I've tried it, I've downloaded it, I've flashed it, and it's still uh, version 1.0. Um, so what you need to do is you need to go to the forums. And in the forums, go to the FAQs. Why it's in FAQs, I have no idea. Debian 11 monthly snapshots. This is where you want to be. When you go in there, you will see there's a Debian 11 IoT snapshot because we don't need the desktop. And you go down there, the BeagleBone Black is an AM335. So that looks like the image that we need, uh, an IoT. So we'll download that. Uh, I've sped up the download slightly. Um, and then once we've got that, uh, we then need to use uh, Berlina Etcher. And we will flash this again sped this up, cut, cut bits out because it takes about 20 minutes to do, validate the SD card, take your newly formatted uh, SD card with the new image, stick it into the BeagleBone Black. This time when we power it up it will boot from the SD card rather than from its uh, internal memory. Um, once we've done this, uh, we'll, we'll then just uh, browse to it and see what version of Node Red it's got now. There we go, it's coming up. Let's have a quick browse. So if we go 192.168.1.19, 1880, that pops up with Node Red 3.0. Uh, and that's a little uh, first run menu that pops up each time. So we'll just go in and check, yep, 3.02 which is the latest version of Node Red. So that's where you get it from. So what we then need to do is just update the system. So we'll log in on PuTTY, we'll do a sudo apt update, sudo apt full upgrade. Now again, this takes an awfully long time. Uh, so we'll just let it plod through that. Uh, I've sped it up and cut bits out, um, but uh, that, that should be uh, fully upgraded. So then we need to log in again uh, and we just need to enable Node Red this time. So log in as Debian, 
password is temp password. Once we've got all this set up, we can change these settings later to secure our uh, Node Red installation. So we run sudo system control enable now Node Red. Um, again, got to enter the password, temp password. Uh, so that's that bit done. Next, we need to enable, we need to copy the SD image across to the internal memory of the BeagleBone. So again, after a reboot, we log in, temp password again, and this time we need to enable the flasher. So it's sudo enable Beagle flasher. Again, it asks you for a password. Once you've typed in the password, it pops up with a little message. Here we go. Yep. Uh, so shut down system and this flasher will run on next startup. So the next time we reboot, uh, well, we do it here, we'll do sudo reboot. And obviously we lose our connection uh, to putty. Um, so if we go back now, when you do that reboot, you'll notice on the BeagleBone, uh, the little flashing LEDs, the four LEDs near to the um, uh, network port, they'll start to flash in this, what can only be described as like a Knight Rider fashion, backwards or forwards. This takes a while. Go and make a cup of tea, come back, it might still be doing this. Now, once it's finished, it will then... As we'll see, it goes back into kind of random flickering mode, uh, kind of packs itself up, and it actually switches itself off. So you know it's complete if you've gone away and you come back and it's gone off. Then it successfully uh, copied the image off the SD card into its internal memory. So that's it, done. All we need to do now is pop out the SD card, put that to one side. We can flash another beagle bone with that if we want to cycle the power or you could just press the power button on the unit give that a few seconds to pop back up again and bear in mind this is now running off the internal flash memory nothing to do with the SD card which I think is far more reliable uh, than the uh, Raspberry Pi uh, we'll just have a quick check make sure it is running uh, 192.168.1.19.18.80 so this is now the internal memory running, let's just check, version 3.02. So there you have it. That's all you need to do. Simple, simple as.